we're going to have drivers off of I-17. They're going to go up the ramp and then down the ramp just over through the bridge work area from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. The southbound lanes of I-17 will be closed at Dark Wasani Bridge, and southbound traffic will be shifted onto the off and on ramps. It's very simple. There's an application form for entries to fill out, $25 per entry to be in the parade. But it's just a matter of filling out the form and getting it back to us. We don't turn anybody away. If you have a group, a float, a band, you name it, we're looking for pretty much anything that represents Prescott. We still have servicemen deployed around the world, and they're always thought of, and we thought that peace was a nice, simple message to send out this year. Kind of a magical day with the parade in the afternoon and then the courthouse lighting later on at 6 o'clock. It's a full day of activity, and people enjoy it. It's a 3% tax that's collected by lodging establishments within the city limits of Prescott. So it's called transit occupancy, which means that they're there for 30 days or less. Otherwise, they're long-term, and then it becomes a rental tax. But it's only collected by hotels and B&Bs within the city limits of Prescott. It's a tax collected on people who come to us from out of town and stay in hotels. The vast majority of Prescott residents would never pay that. Maybe their friends and relatives might, but they would. And this is very common. This is done in every community in Arizona and almost every community throughout the country. Every year it tends to be one item or another that becomes controversial. You know, funding for the arts has typically been a controversial item. Hopefully we've moved past that now that we're not in such a tight budget situation as we were a few years ago. Still new to the council, still in our first year. This is the first time that we've had an opportunity, the new council members, to look at the bed tax. So my big thing is I just like a little bit more time, and I think the council does as well, to talk with the stakeholders and just work through this process.